Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to yet another review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Keith Cone. Now, the reason why I don't have him in the package is because, I mean, I was doing a review of Keith Cone. Now, at the t now I did not have my phone at me at that time. It was, the, I was recording the video, like, probably, like, two days ago, whenever I got him. And then, yeah, I was recording on my mom's phone, actually. And it was about, like, probably, like, four to five minutes long. So and, then, and you probably you guys probably do know what how iPhones like treat of uh, long videos you know you, you're not allowed to send like videos like over a minute you know well that's what happened with mine so files got so I just deleted that copy and now we're just gonna review it on my phone and then just post it on YouTube from here so yeah anyway <clears throat> sorry about all the rambling anyway let's get to the review of. My main man, Keith Cone. Now, Keith Cone is pretty cool looking, honestly. Even though he has the same model as Chuck Joe Cables. I really do like him a lot. Anyway, so yeah, he has a really awesome expression, honestly. Just looking off to the side and a wide open mouth just makes a whole difference. And you can actually feel like the inside of the mouth. Like, there is actual depth to that mouth. Some other cars have the depth to the mouth. I mean, Colin Bowrev, I mean, kind of. He doesn't really have the same depth as... Um, Keith, I mean, Keith, yeah, Keith, but that is a lot of death. You could even feel the teeth in there a little bit. Just, you know, you just feel it in there. It's pretty awesome. And then you also got the headlights up there. Black side view mirrors there. Brown eyes. On the side, you got these little silverish chrome rims and also this little black side sideboard. I don't, know really, I don't really know why these three dots are here, but they're there. I don't really know what the purpose is for them, but I think minivans do have them. I don't really know. But yeah, on this side, you do have another sideboard, more dots, and the chrome rims there. Roof racks on the roof there, obviously. And then here is the back with the, uh, what do you call this? What do you call this? The, the, the sideboard, yeah. Or really just the backboard. But that's more of a basketball term than any car term. Anyway, uh, and then the license plate reads KY. Oh my god, why is this? Hang on, why is this so f freaking white? <sighs> my phone is just. Anyway, uh, yeah, the license the license plate reads KYT four four five four nine, and I can't really read the text above it, but. Actually, uh, yeah, I can't. It says ring gap up there. And, yeah, that's about it for the review of Kiko. Now we're going to compare it to Colin Bowrev, since they're very, very similar in model, and people have been pretty disappointed about Colin. So, first of all, expressions are different, obviously. Second of all, I can see that Keith has no grill, while Colin has a grill. Just a very small grill, you know? And then... They just both have the same, like, eye color. I mean, I get it. Colin's green, though, but then Keith is brown. Now, Colin's a little bit taller than Keith. I just noticed that, which is kind of interesting to me. It's better because, like, I don't want them to be the same model, you know? <clears throat> now, on the side here, you can kind of tell that Colin is taller than Keith. And Keith, I mean, yeah, Colin does not have the sideboards while Keith does. And also different rims. So, yeah. Here's the back. No back board. No black, little, no black little stripe on the bumper there for Colin. And there's also like a black border around the back window where Keith does not have that. Other side there. Forgot to take a look at the date stamp here. Date stamp reads R13A, May the 13th week of 2022 in the A factory, made in Thailand. So, yeah. Yeah, that's about it for the review of Keith Cone, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time for the next review on my channel, which would probably be the Showtime Loop playset, because, like, I'm just dying to review that for you guys. Or, I mean, I did, I, for, or I could just review, like, a Planes diecast that I got for Christmas. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later for any of those reviews. Bye.